Hey friends, it is Nurse Meg from NurseMegRN.com and I am here for you. The only reason that I have this channel or my blog or my social media is really just to create more nurses and create skilled, confident nurses that love their profession so much that they won't want to leave after a couple years because there's some staggering statistics about how many uh, nurses with less than five years of experience leave. It's like 40% of people that will work a couple years and be like, I don't wanna do this anymore, I hate this. And I think it's because they don't have a good foundation. So that is why I do what I do. I wanna give you a good foundation. Now this video particularly is all about the NCLEX. I love tutoring students who are studying for the NCLEX. I love helping them know exactly what to study every single day, how to structure their studying time, how to increase their probability of passing, lowering their test anxiety, giving them the best strategies. I teach all of these things in my NCLEX test prep course. If you're interested, go to the description below and uh, just go explore the page, see if it's uh, right for you or if it's what you are looking for. I really do specialize in people who are retaking the NCLEX, like if they have failed previously and need some help and guidance on evaluating why they failed. Um, I got a whole section for you because I really want you to keep going and please don't give up. So let's talk about like the practice exams. Most schools will use UWorld or ATI and they will use them in replacement of professors writing questions. They will be like end of semester tests. They will be exit exams for the entire program. And they all have some sort of predictor percentage. And they would love for you to believe that if you have a high percentage, then you're definitely gonna pass. But I do get DMs from people that said, I had a 98% chance of passing according to ATI or whoever, and I didn't pass the first time. And that's because while practice questions are great and content review is great, it's not the only factor into passing a standardized test. You really need strategy. Your body needs to be in a good place with good food, good sleep, uh, avoiding uh, stimulants or uh, depressors, and then your test anxiety, your test anxiety, your body in a good place, and your content obviously plays a part, but also the strategy. So all of those four things are gonna factor in, and if you only factor one of those four things in, it's hard to believe that this person really would have a 95% chance of passing, because there's so many other things that go into it. So I'm not a huge fan of those predictor tests. Because I consistently see them getting it wrong. So wrong! I would say don't trust them so much, but work on those other three elements of setting your brain and body up for success, really getting a hold of your test anxiety, having strategies for when you're in the exam, for navigating to the right answer, even if you don't know what they are talking about in the question. So that's everything that I teach you. Um, I really do think that practice exams have their place. I think practicing doing NCLEX prep questions is what helps you start to think like the NCLEX. And if you do it consistently, let's say you do it for 21 to 28 days, every single day for an allotted period of time, then your brain will start to think like the NCLEX, okay? If you start to learn how to break down the question, you'll start to think like the NCLEX, but you have to do it consistently. You have to do it for at least 21 days, and you have to do it for a certain amount of time, like a minimum of 20 minutes a day on practice questions. I don't like to give people an exact number, like you have to be doing 30 questions a day, because it's not necessarily about the questions, it's about the time that you spend on this information, because that's how our brains work. We work on time, that's how we make sense of things. So NCLEX practice exams, are they worth taking? Absolutely. Practice makes perfect, practice helps you to think like the NCLEX. Do I have 100% confidence in those types of practice tests with predictor percentages? No, I don't have a lot of confidence in those. So I know that your schools make you take them, but I don't think you should put a lot of stock into whatever percentage you get, high or low, because there's all those factors that go in, all right? So I hope this video helps you uh, get some clarity on the NCLEX. If you have any questions at all about the NCLEX, you can always book a call with me and we can kind of talk through any of my courses or any of my resources with you, because um, again, I'm here for you. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time, bye.